Hey there, I'm Yankel, and today we're gonna talk about chicken drumsticks. Now, before I go any further, I'm gonna give you a quick disclaimer. You can season them however you like, toss them in a little bit of oil, and throw them in an oven, and they're gonna be good, because it's great chicken. But I'm gonna show you a method which is gonna make them incredible. Now, it's a little bit more technical, but I think you're ready for it. So here's the deal, it's called confit, and basically what that means is cooking protein in its own fat. Typically, this is a French method that was used for duck legs, and basically what happens is, it's similar to braising or steaming, they slow cook and they become melt in your mouth tender. Now we're not gonna do them in chicken fat today, we're gonna use olive oil, but I'm gonna show you how to make the most incredible olive oil that's gonna basically be the gift that keeps on giving because it tastes so good and you get to reuse it. The first thing we're gonna do is season our drumsticks and what we want them to do is sit with the salt for a little while to absorb some of that salt, which we're then gonna rinse off before we confit them. So what I'm gonna do is prepare my Ziploc bag and then I'm basically gonna make a little bit of a spice rub. So I'm using a good amount of kosher salt and then I've got just some basics, garlic powder, onion powder, and I'm using some Italian seasoning because I'm actually going to add a whole bunch of fresh herbs to the olive oil when we actually do the confit. You can add any herbs that you like to this mix and the amount doesn't really matter as long as you're comfortable with the salt covering most of the drumsticks. So I'm just gonna mix that up. Just like that. And then I'm just gonna give them a healthy sprinkle on all sides. Now they're gonna sit with the salt, I recommend at least an hour, up to overnight is fine. If you're going overnight, a little bit less salt because they're gonna absorb it pretty well. And they're gonna actually absorb all the flavor of those spices the longer they sit. Now, when it comes to drumsticks, the reason we wanna do a method like this rather than just baking them or grilling them, which of course makes good drumsticks, is these are from chickens that are pretty active. And that means that their legs have some nice developed muscle and good tendon. And basically what that means is biting into them can be a little bit chewy. If you've ever bitten into a baked drumstick, you know you've gotta work on it. The comfy method eliminates all of that. These are gonna melt in your mouth. So I'm just gonna put them right into the Ziploc bag. And we're gonna throw them in the fridge. And we'll go with about an hour this time. And remember, whenever you handle raw chicken, Emily, my kitchen manager, wants me to remind you, wash your hands before you touch anything else. So I'm gonna go wash my hands, stick those in the fridge, and we'll be right back. All right, after about an hour or so in my salt, so basically what happened was the salt absorbed into the chicken a little bit and added some flavor and added some salt to it, which is really gonna help it taste better. And because I'm immersing it in olive oil, I wanna basically rinse all of that off and pat them dry. You can totally skip this seasoning in advance, putting them in a bag process. We can absolutely salt them or add spices once we're done with the entire cooking process. That's fine too. So if you don't feel like waiting a day, we can go right into the next stage, which is immersing them in olive oil. So I've got nice dry chicken drumsticks. And what I'm gonna do is I've got a Dutch oven. Any thick bottom pot will do. And I'm gonna line the bottom with herbs. Because it's gonna sit on the stovetop for a little while, I don't want the bottom of the chicken to burn. So I'm basically giving them an herb pillow and I'm using sage, rosemary, and thyme, which are fairly typical seasoning for chicken. Now, what I want is all of that fresh herb flavor to go into my olive oil, which I get to use over and over again. Uh, I'm also adding some whole garlic cloves, so they're just going in there. And now, basically, I'm going to layer my chicken. If I had twice as many drumsticks, I could still do this exact process in this same size pot and basically lay them on the bottom just like that. 
And then we're gonna add enough olive oil to make sure that they are fully covered. And I'm also just gonna make sure the skin is all the way over on the drumstick. Sometimes in processing or packaging, the skin gets curled up. So you can just kinda pull it back over the drumstick because we want that nice crispy skin when we're finished with this. All right. And of course, wash your hands in between. I've got a nice big jug of olive oil and we're going right into our pot. Now, this is not deep frying. The key here is really low temperature. I want barely a simmer. So I'm gonna heat it up on low heat the entire time and I'm basically just gonna wait for little bubbles to hit the surface and I'll maintain that heat for just about two, two and a half hours or until that drumstick is super, super tender. I want it not to fall off the bone yet though because we're gonna throw them in the oven at the very end to crisp them up. And one more thing, when oil heats up, it expands. So you can go a little bit less than you think you need and wait for it to actually expand and it should cover everything beautifully. So I'm gonna go with, let's see, medium to low heat at first and then once I start seeing bubbles, I'll lower it a bit more. All right, while we let the oil heat up, let's just review how we got here. So number one is we take our drumsticks, we pat them dry, and we season them with salt and some spices. And number one, that process is partly to flavor the drumsticks. And number two, that process is to soak up some of the moisture, pull it out, and that's gonna help us get a really crispy product at the end. And then we rinse them off after they sit for a while. And now we've immersed them in oil with some herbs and some fresh garlic. Now for an oil temperature, when it comes to deep frying, we're looking for 350 or above, but this is not deep frying, so we want a low temperature. We're looking at 175 to 200 degrees as being a pretty ideal temperature for a medium length of time to cook. You can go a little bit higher, but then you're, you're basically edging on to the deep fried stage, and you can go a little bit lower, and it'll just take a little bit longer. So we're looking for 175, and that'll give us about two hours of simmering time. We're gonna leave them uncovered on the stove while that happens, and it's going to smell incredible. I will see you in just about two hours. Our drumsticks have basically simmered in olive oil for almost three hours, and they are definitely super tender. And you can pretty much tell they're done when the meat starts to peel away from the bone and the bone starts to be exposed right there. That's a good sign that they are where they need to be. And of course you can poke them with a fork um, and if it goes right through, you know you're good. Now, I know these are absolutely exactly where I want them. And so what I'm gonna do now is I've got the oven cranking at 500 degrees. They're gonna go into that oven for about five or six minutes mm -hmm and that skin is gonna get super crisp. Of course, you can broil them. You're gonna have the same effect. Uh, if you do broil them, don't walk away from the oven while you're broiling them. Hang out, watch them go, because the difference between beautiful brown crispy skin and black burnt skin is really a matter of seconds. So I'm gonna go with the hot oven in this case. These will be the best drumsticks, maybe the best chicken you've ever had. And by the way, you can do this with almost any protein, especially if it's a slow cooking item. Drumsticks, chicken thighs, anything with a bone does really well when it's immersed in olive oil and cooked really slowly. So these are gonna go into the oven, five minutes. While my drumsticks are crisping up, I'm gonna strain out the oil. Now this is a delicious, beautiful infused oil and you can use it for salad dressings or for roasting other things or for sauteing or for making mayonnaise. I mean, anything that you can use oil for, you now have beautiful, incredibly flavorful, chicken flavored, fresh herb flavored, garlic flavored olive oil. And it just gets better over time. So I'm gonna strain it just using a simple mesh strainer and by the way, if you feel like going through this little mess of herbs here and picking out those garlic cloves, you're gonna be in for a real treat because they are incredible. I mean, they just melt. I'm just gonna eat one. It's like garlic candy, which should be a thing because it's delicious. I'm gonna let the oil cool 
in this metal pot. And then once it's cooled down a bit, I can either put it back in the bottle that I got it from or I can put it in some quart containers and store it. I'm gonna keep it refrigerated because that will help separate some of the chicken fat from the oil. And both of them have great applications for other projects. All right, I'm gonna go check on my drumsticks because I hear them sizzling. Oh, hey. I was just admiring the most beautiful drumsticks I've ever seen in my whole life. So I just add a little bit of salt to that crispy skin. They spent a few minutes in a really hot oven. Broiler works really well too. Confit, learn it, learn to love it, learn to use it. It makes the best chicken you will ever, ever have. And normally I would put these on a platter, but I'm just gonna stand here and eat them. I'm Yankel. Go confit something. Oh. It's like the chicken's made out of butter. It literally melts in your mouth. What I really love to do is I do this with chicken thighs. And then when they're done, I take the skin off and I put the skin under the broiler and I make chicken skin chips. And then I shred the meat and I put it on a salad and I garnish it with crispy chicken skin chips. Try that. Goodbye now.